welcome to AM Cafe. I'm Ibrahim Shita. I'm Anu Thank you for joining us. There is this anti-grazing law. law that was promulgated by the Benue State Government, and everyone was very happy. Some criticized that it's, going to, it's not going to work. Some were so cynical about it. And now we're having people dying, and this is a new year. And that's why we have security personnel. So I think they should be up and doing, and hopefully we'll be able to apprehend the person. Well, very hopefully. It's January. It's still the uh, fresh air, fresh, fresh days uh, into 2018, and we are sincerely very optimistic that something will be done to curb all of these um, um, actions, all of these things that make us feel so sad each time we wake up to hear these stories. We want a final solution. We want to ensure that uh, the federal government is doing the right thing, and that is the reason we all talk about it everywhere and every now and then. Uh, well, um, we'll definitely go to the next segment of this program, which is looking at yes, the newspaper be. headlines. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> River killings, which places 200 million naira bounty on perpetrators. I think that will actually encourage some people to identify who the government mm. are, and maybe they will be apprehended at the end of the day. Then we have Boko Haram Melissa's video claiming the sex so deadly. I think that's a very sad one there. Mm, indeed. And hopefully, maybe the government will actually do something about it this time. APC now an attack dog, says APC vice chair. Uh, don't oppose my husband. Farish's wife warns politicians. <laughs> well, that does it on the newspaper headlines that we have uh, this morning. Uh, you can take a read uh, of some of these newspapers, that, uh, newspaper headlines that we've uh, given you this morning. Uh, so we'll go to the next segment of this program. We'll be right back. And that is the interview segment uh, where we'll have our guests to discuss concerning issues. And this time is restructuring. That's the debate about restructuring. What about it? Thanks for staying with us. We are now at the interview segment. And the issue we're talking about today has to do with restructuring and matters arising. Restructuring has become the latest buzzword in the political landscape with political and non-political actors pushing forward their ideas and the meaning of the word restructuring. Join us today is Mr. Rangel Lauren Shaw, a public affairs analyst. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning, and then good morning, viewers. Good morning. Good yes, morning. in 1946, the derivation formula for the regions which controlled their resources was 100% as of 1946, while in 1951, the British recommended 50% derivation to 1960. General Yakubu Gowan reduced this to 45%, and in the first coming of General Buari, it crashed to 1.5%. From your own assessment, is President Bari a fan of restructuring? Well, thank you very much. Um, I think we've got to look at this thing from two perspectives. You're talking about federal system here. And then when you're talking about federal system, you are looking at the federalist forces and then at the federalist forces. Some people will be telling you that they are going for the federalist system in Nigeria, whereas they are anti-federalist forces. So when you restructure, what does it mean? Let us, Nigeria has problems with delimitions, including the so-called linguists and some, uh, some people that say they have read this, they have read that. They, oh, they misdefine things here. Yeah. And the rhetorician will not just sit down and be watching. When you say restructure, it simply means you change from bad situation to a better one, worse to better. So, and that one is dynamic. The implication of that is that if the situation you are finding yourself now is not okay, that is analog before. And then you cannot continue like that one in the committee of the nation. And then what the occasion is demanding is digital. Will you see that analogy? You wouldn't. You want to move to digital. When you say you restructure, it means that we are changing 
from the situation that is bad, we now want to move to better things. That will mean it now. And then wait. And then we now start clarifying which area? Political, which area? Philosophical, which area? Technological, which area? Social. It's not just bungling things together that some people are talking. I don't think that way. Mr. It is right. Yes. It is believed in some quarters that the reasons agitations are going on in the country is because some people feel marginalized and they feel restructuring we actually doubt the issue of marginalization. Do you subscribe to it? That is a point. And uh, who are these people being marginalized? That is why they are talking about structure. Margina uh, the, the structure that is not okay is fueling marginalization. For instance, the people will tell you that they are marginalized. The Yoruba people will tell you that they are marginalized. They have reasons. And the dimension of that marginalization will vary. Very in the sense that, look at Igbo. Igbo will tell you that all other zones, they are having six states. It is only there, they are having five. Why? South South has said. You understand? That is one marginalization. Why should the people who are distributing states give Igbo just five? And not an Igbo person. But uh, when you are talking about human rights, you cut across everybody. You understand? Then, look at the Yoruba something. Yoruba, the industry of Yoruba is education. Your wife producing children upon children. Where we have to go? You think we should continue like that? But well, Mr. President, my speech actually commended the Southwest. But actually, they've been patient and they had orders to actually. That yeah. one can be dismissed as a cosmetic arrangement. I don't subscribe to all these recommendations here and there. Where we are talking, we are talking about issues. This nation is drifting. This nation is drifting. We need to do something. Oh, I'm late. We are getting late. I'm telling you, Mr. Rogers. Those who can really articulate and know what is going on in the country, in the world. Mr. Yeah, I'm late, people. Mr. Angel, I'm telling you. If the, if the federal government decides not to go in the way of restructuring, what is the way out? Rupturing. Rupturing. Do you know the meaning? You know the meaning of to get ruptured. That is what is going to happen. When you, when you see, I'm telling you, anywhere you see good things you don't do, the next thing is evil. There is no vacuum anywhere. Don't deceive yourself. You understand? If you don't restructure this nation, I'm telling you, there will be no time. And there will be sporadic and occasional violence. It will be difficult to contain. As you're having it in South, you'll be having it in the South, you'll be having it in the South. You'll be having it in the South. You'll be having it in the South. No, it's not about emotion. It's about passion. It's about the... Oh, we are leaving this place. What will happen to our children? You think they will take all these places that we are taking? Thank you so much for coming. We still have another guest waiting. Thank you. And we now go on break. When we come back, we have more issues to discuss. Just stay with us. All right, thank you so much uh, for today. It's been a very interesting time together with you. Uh, please ensure that you make it a date with us tomorrow on the program, 7 a.m. will be another time for us to come together and talk about issues that matter to you and to me on AM Cafe. I'm Ibrahim Shita. And I'm Anu Akumolaka. Do have a lovely day. Bye.